In this video, I'm going to show how to get dual monitors inside of Apple Vision Pro. I'm going to talk about how to get two Windows monitors that you can simultaneously use, you know, the mouse between them. Um, I'm going to look at how to connect it to if you have displays already. In my example, I'm going to be using a computer that has three displays and talking about how to choose which displays you want to use. Okay, so first of all, we're going to need two instances of Sunshine installed on our computer that will allow for both screens. Then we're going to need two instances of Moonlight installed on the Apple Vision Pro. One Moonlight talking to one Sunshine, the other Moonlight talking to the other Sunshine. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is download Sunshine, and I have a video on that as it's basically how to use Windows on Apple Vision Pro. And once you have that working, that's what I would suggest first. Once you have that working, then go to Sunshine folder in your C drive. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click, right click and go to copy. And then control V to paste. And it should, whoop, I'm going to hit continue. Just paste it right next to Sunshine here. Okay, cool. And I can see at the bottom it says Sunshine Copy. I'm going to rename that. So if I right click and go to rename, I'm going to call this Sunshine 2. Then if I open up Sunshine 2, I'm going to right click on this and name this Sunshine 2. This is the executable file. Okay, cool. Now I have two Sunshines and, and notice they're not next to each other. I'm just going to hit name. Now they're next to each other, okay, because now it's alphabetical. So there's our original Sunshine and there's Sunshine 2. We can't, it's not just that simple. We need to actually um, do some things with it. So what I need to do is in Sunshine 2, there is a, a file that I need to edit, okay? So if I go into config, I need to adjust this config file right here, okay? Now I can't just open it with a normal notepad uh, because I need administrator rights. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna type in notepad. And then when I see the notepad, I'm gonna go ahead and right click and say run as administrator. Now, whoop, yes, okay. So now I'm in regular notepad and uh, hold on, there we go. And now I can go to file, open, and then I have to go navigate to that file that I want, okay? So what I mean by that is your Sunshine 2 config Notice I don't see it here, so I have to switch this right here to all files. Now I can see it, okay, Sunshine config. Now I can click open. And what this is gonna be is the configuration for the um, other Sunshine. And if there's anything written, go ahead and delete it, okay? And if there's not anything written, I'm gonna go ahead and type this. I'm gonna type in port equals 48027. And I'm going to do discovery equals false. Okay, great. So that port, that's going to be kind of our, um, our code, if you will, for our website to control our monitor or more of our URL to control our monitor. Again, that'll make more sense in a second. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and then I'm going to just save. And now that saved the configuration file uh, with that new information. So now if I go into, um, if I go back here, uh, I can see Sunshine 2 right here. I'm going to go, um, right click on that and if I pin that to start okay so if I pin to start now if I come in here whoop I'm sorry here I can see it's in my start and then if I want to pin the other one whoop. okay so here's sunshine one I can again right click and pin that to start as well and it looks like it already is so I'll just leave it um, now I have Sunshine 1, Sunshine 2, and 
with Sunshine 2, I'm going to go ahead and run it, okay? And when I run it, watch what happens. So if I, uh, actually, I'll run it from down here. And now it's running. I'm going to click Advanced. I'm going to say uh, Continue Unsave. And it looks like it's this port here. So I, I'm looking at this and I'm seeing, I think that's the wrong sunshine I'm running, so I'm gonna cancel that. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I click on this one here. And now I can see that uh, the code at the top. You'll also notice right here, I'm gonna click allow. There's also um, something in here right here that tells us what our local host is so what I could do is I could copy that or I could just type it okay so now if I come up here control V to paste um, there's my local host for what I need so if I hit enter now I put my username and password same as before okay and now I can see that I have a different local host because remember, this is monitor one. And again, monitor one has its own password, username and password, which is the same, but they're both kind of password protected, obviously. Okay. So now I have this one, which is local host 47990. That's for, we'll call it the first monitor. And this one, local host 48028 is the second one. Now, Again, we're gonna to need to be able to access this stuff. So what I need to do is I need to go and bookmark this. So if I come down here, here's bookmarks. I'll say bookmark this tab and I'll book, leave it on the bookmark bar and click okay. And I think I'll, I'll rename this. Uh, let's say edit. I'm gonna call this monitor two. There we go. Um, and I could put them, I could get fancy. I could put them in a folder called the Apple Vision Pro or something like that. But I feel like, again, I have monitor one, monitor two. So now if I need to access any information on it, um, in the, in future lessons, I'm going to go ahead and kind of point monitor one to a different monitor. And if that's the case, monitor two is going to default at the default monitor. So, um, but again, the ideas are the same. The other thing too, is that each one has their own pin section, so you gotta be aware of that. So if I go here, if um, Apple Vision Pro is asking you to connect on this one, on this port, 749990, you have to click on this pin. If it's asking you to connect the other monitor, you have to make sure that you're on this one, and then you can connect this pin. So that's a little setup on installing two Sunshines. Now let's get multiple monitors working in Apple Vision Pro. So here you can see I've got a setup with three monitors and this is to a desktop computer, but it could be a, a laptop or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, and if I go to display, if I go to my settings and check, it tells me that this is um, monitor one, two, and three. However, um, if I look at it closer, if I ask, Sunshine what it is. Sunshine says this is display one. This is display two. Notice it was uh, the computer told it, it was three and this is display three. So I feel like we're gonna have to check what display it is. Okay. The other thing that matters is what is the primary monitor. So I have this set up as my primary monitor right now and by default it's going to um, show the primary monitor. So what we need to do is we need to have one Sunshine point to one monitor and the other sunshine point to the other monitor. So that's what I'm gonna kind of talk about here. And by the way, um, you can see like a laptop and a virtual monitor, and I have a video on how to set up virtual monitors if you're interested. But in this case, if you check on the computer, it'll say, hey, this is monitor one and this is monitor two. However, if we check with sunshine, this is display one, and this is actually display nine. Okay, so I feel like it doesn't have to make any sense uh, to you, but I feel like it has to make sense to Sunshine, and, and that's what it was set up on that other computer. So just wanted to kind of cover the basics there. So now 
what do we do? And what I mean by that is if I right click on this, if I go to display settings, I can see here's my monitor setup right now. This is primary and I can see that because it says this is my main display. If I click on this, these are not my main display. Okay. So, um, and if I go into here, file explorer, and if I go to where I saved it, so C drive, um, program files, if I come down here to uh, sunshine, okay. And if I go into tools, okay, this one right here, this DXGI info, if I go to command prompt, okay, I can drag this into here and then hit enter. And it's gonna tell me, whoop, hit enter. Now it's gonna tell me the name on my monitors and I can see here display one, two, and three, or two, one, and three. And um, I know that, uh, like I said, I, I tagged them how they are. So you have to kind of know what monitors or what, maybe get out a piece of paper and kind of write it down and kind of make notes of what is what monitor. Um, and this is my, uh, actually this one is my default monitor is display two. And this is the other display that I want, which is display one, okay? So again, display two is my primary monitor. So if nothing happens, it's gonna to default to that one, okay? Um, so let's take a look at this. Um, sunshine, um, if I need to change the, I'm, I'm gonna call it the settings of it, what we need to do is we need to go into um, our link here. And actually, I think what I'm gonna do is launch sunshine so instead of launching it here i could right click and go to run as administrator or i could also go like this pin to start and if it wasn't on the start menu you could um it would say pin to start so i want to pin that to the start menu and i also want to pin sunshine 2 right click and go to pin to start as well that way i have it right here and i can see that the right here Okay, and if I click on this, now it's gonna run it. And if I look at the top here, okay, if I look at the top, I can tell it actually if it worked or not. And I feel like it looks like um, whoop, it's launching this, okay, um, the internet. And if I go here, I have the um, bookmarks for the main monitor and the second monitor. So if I go to the main monitor, okay, the first time I log in, I have to put my username and password. And again, going to the default monitor, the single monitor, I have a video on how to do all that stuff. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my username and password. Sign in. And that is always gonna be the same address every single time. So that's why you can bookmark it, okay? Same with the second monitor, that's always gonna be the same address as well. So that's why you can bookmark it as well. And I recommend bookmarking it because we're going to need it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to physically set this on the other monitor. Okay, I'm going to set it on the monitor that I want. And, um, oh, I should mention this. I need to point this to that monitor. So to do that, I'm going to go into configuration, audio video. And you can see that I typed in slash slash dot slash display one. Now, again, display one is not my primary monitor. My primary monitor is display two. So it would have defaulted to display two if I didn't type anything here. Because I type something here, um, it's going to go to my second monitor. I can also see that here's my resolution, frames per second, I would hit save, it's all done. So then I, I'd be good. Now um, I'm ready. So I wanna make sure that, um, okay, that Sunshine 1 is running and I feel like I have everything set up, everything is good. If you change this, you might wanna close it, relaunch Sunshine and have it go again, okay? And then now, once that's running, I'm not going to run Sunshine 2 yet, okay? That's a mistake. So in other words, I'm gonna set this in the other monitor and if the other, um, if when I launch it in Apple Vision Pro, if it launches to that screen, then I know that it worked properly. And then in Apple Vision Pro, I can launch 
um, Sunshine 2, set up its pin through my computer, and then everything should be working. So hopefully that worked. I'll, I'll enter Apple Vision Pro and make sure that that worked. Here I am in Apple Vision Pro. There's Moonlight, there's the other Moonlight. And the way that I get the other Moonlight is I'm gonna to go to the App Store, I'm gonna search Test Flight, I'm gonna open Test Flight, and I'm gonna download Moonlight, um, the Test Flight version, okay? That way I'll have two Moonlights. One for one monitor, one for the other one. I'm gonna start by launching the first Moonlight. And again, if it goes to that, that screen with the um, information, on the pin and stuff, I know that it worked. Aha, that is, that. so it did work and uh, looks like we're good there. Now I can launch the other one. So what I'm gonna do is just position this screen here and from this screen, I'm gonna go ahead and remember to launch Sunshine 2 um, and I have to go to the bookmark of the second screen and log in if necessary um, or uh, get to my pin right here. There's my pin and now I can I'm ready for it. So I'm gonna launch Sunshine 2 and It's going to ask for a host. I'm gonna select it. I want to make sure that it's green host click on desktop and If it gives you an error the first time you might have to do it a couple times. It's a little finicky, uh, but really not too bad once you get it going uh, I can Click on the house up there if I need to there we go and I'll click on start pairing, that's what we want. So when we click start pairing, I can see the pin. Now I can put that pin into this area. Again, I wanna make sure that I'm on the second screen. Um, so that's why I set that up prior. I'm gonna put the pin in. And again, the pin's gonna change every time. Now I can click on desktop. And voila, it's connected. Now this black box that's up there, I only wanna minimize that. If I close it, my screen ends. Okay, so I just wanna minimize that. Now I can change the size of this screen, have it any size that I want, and I can set it right there. Notice that my arrow, okay, my mouse doesn't go to one monitor. So I'm gonna to go to display settings, and I'm gonna check my display, okay? So here's my display settings, and if I identify this, I can see that one's monitor three and the other one's monitor one. I'm gonna set those right next to each other and identify, okay, then I hit apply. Now my mouse should go seamlessly across both of them like that. And if I don't want anything to be hidden on monitor two, because remember I had three monitors to begin with, I'm just going to duplicate it on one of the monitors. Doesn't really matter which one. And now I don't have to worry about my anything getting lost. Okay, there I've got it going across like that. If I wanted to, if I wanted to have a different configuration, like it on top, like this, what I'm going to do is I have to change it in my display up here. So I'm gonna just kind of adjust this. Okay, now in here, I'm gonna set it on top and then hit apply. Now my mouse will go vertically from one screen to the next. There we go. Um, I prefer it side by side, but again, you can have it however you want. And then I'm just gonna kind of pull that over. And it doesn't have to be true to, you know, how your physical monitors are set up. It can be any way that you want it in kind of your virtual space here. Um, so that's really it. You can um, kind of fade out so you can see the keyboard. I have a light up keyboard so you can kind of see it a little bit easier. Um, and then you can be fully immersed. What's really cool is you're in the full Apple environment. So you can launch apps, you can launch as many, um, you know, side widgets, you can launch Safari, you can have a video playing up there, you could uh, check your messages, do whatever you need to do.